Hi, this is King of Review. In this problem, we're asked to find the value of x plus y. x and y are the entries within this matrix here. We're given this equation, and we're told that matrix A is equal to this. So what we want to do is figure out what a to the power of 16 is. Let's start by looking at a squared. a squared, this is the same thing as a times itself, so a times a. So let's write that out. Matrix a is 0, negative 1, 1, 0. And we're multiplying it by itself, so 0, negative 1, 1, 0. So we're multiplying these two matrices together. Both of them, since they're the same, they're both 2 by 2 matrices. The product of two matrices is defined as long as the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So because these two numbers here are the same, we can go ahead and multiply these two matrices together. To multiply two matrices together, you're going to multiply corresponding entries in the first row of the first matrix times the entries in the first column of the second matrix, and then add these two products together. So let's set up the math for this product. The first entry is going to be 0 times 0 plus negative 1 times 1. So we got that by multiplying 0 times 0 plus negative 1 times 1. For the rest of the entries, we're going to format them in the same fashion. So the next entry is going to be 1 times 0 plus 0 times 1. Moving over to the second column, we have 0 times negative 1 plus negative 1 times 0. And the final entry is 1 times negative 1 plus 0 times 0. So now we've set up the math for each of these entries. Let's simplify. So the first entry here, 0 times 0 plus negative 1 times 1. This gives us a negative 1. The next entry simplifies to 0. Then we have 0 and negative 1. So I want you to remember what an identity matrix is. An identity matrix, we'll call it E. This is equal to a matrix that has 1s in the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So our product here is not quite an identity matrix, but it's negative 1 times the identity matrix because we have negative 1s here in the main diagonal. So this is equal to negative E, where E is this identity matrix. Therefore, we know that A squared is equal to negative E. So now, let's take a look at what a to the fourth power would be. a to the fourth power is the same thing as a squared times a squared. So a squared raised to the second power. And since we know that a squared is negative e, this is negative e squared. Negative e times itself is e. And E is this identity matrix here. Now let's look at A to the power of 16, which is part of our equation up here in the problem. So A to the power of 16, this is the same thing as A to the power of 4. And all of this is raised to the power of 4. We know that A to the power of 4 equals E. So this is the same thing as e to the fourth power, which equals e. Again, we're getting e for this identity matrix. So let's set this up. Our 
equation in the problem was a to the power of 16 times the matrix x, y here equals this matrix with entries 2 and 3. We know that a to the power of 16 equals e, where e is the identity matrix, so let's fill that in. 1, 0, 0, 1. And we're multiplying this by this matrix here. And we get the matrix that has 2, 3 for the entry. So now what we want to do is multiply these two matrices together. But is this allowed? We need to double check. Well, let's write the dimensions of these. This is a 2 by 2 matrix because it has two rows and two columns. And this matrix is a 2 by 1 because it has two rows and one column. So the product of two matrices is defined as long as the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. These are equal. They're both 2. Therefore, we are allowed to multiply these two matrices together. Again, we're going to multiply by multiplying the corresponding entries in the first row of the first matrix times the entries in the first column of the second matrix, and then add. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is this number here and this number here will give the dimensions of the product. So we're going to have a 2 by 1 matrix for the product. So let's fill in the math for the product here. So we have 1 times x plus 0 times y. So we did 1 times x plus 0 times y. And the next entry is 0 times x plus 1 times y. And again, we're multiplying this by, or this is equal to, the matrix that has 2 and 3 for the entries. So let's go ahead and simplify our product. This is x and y. And this equals this matrix with 2 and 3. Now, this matrix is a 2 by 1, and this matrix is a 2 by 1. Now, because these matrices have the same dimensions and they're set equal to one another, we know that the corresponding entries are also equal. Therefore, x equals 2. These are the top entries, so they're equal to one another. And y is equal to 3. Again, we're asked to find x plus y. 2 plus 3 and this equals 5. So 5 is the final answer. Thanks for watching.